Hi guys, it's me Derry, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make my DIY infinity jumpsuit. So, let's get started. The things you'll need for this tutorial, fabric, measuring and marking tools, pattern weights, McCall 6083, and some elastic. I'm only using the McCall's pattern for the pants, so we're going to cut that out and we're going to cut out the pocket pieces. Okay, this is the back of the pants, so next we're going to cut out the front of the pants. To get the measurement of your strap, we're going to measure from the center of your boob to the center of your underarm, and this will be the width of your strap. To get the length of my straps, I took my height and multiplied by 1.5. This gave me 100.5 inches, but I just decided to round down and make it an even 100. And now I'm just going to mark this out on my fabric using my chalk roller. Now I'm all done marking it out and now it's time to cut it out. Okay, now it's time to start the assembly. I'm going to lay down both of my front pants pattern pieces and I'm going to add the pockets to the pattern piece on the edges. And I'm just going to pin it down right there where I'm pinning it at now. And once we're done with that, we're going to sew right along those pins. Okay, so I'm done pinning and this is where I will be sewing at. Once you're done sewing this, you're going to flip the pocket to the inside and press the pants flat. This makes a nice crisp seam for your pants pockets. And then we're going to take it back over to the floor and we're going to pin the back of the pocket to the pants. Be sure that when you're pinning this that you don't pin the pants to the pocket. You only want to pin pocket to pocket. Keeping the pants leg free, we're going to sew the pocket together. Only sew the pocket. Once you're done sewing the pocket, we're going to take a front piece and a back piece and we're going to pin them together along the inner leg seam. And using my serger, I'm just going to sew along the inner leg seam. Next, we're going to place both pattern pieces right sides together and starting at the crotch, I'm just going to pin the whole crotch area. Once I'm done pinning, I will use my serger again and serge the crotch. Okay, now we're going to flip the pants and make sure that they are right sides together once again and you will see that the pants are beginning to form. All we have to do now is to serge the outer edge of the leg, pants leg. And I'm going to go ahead and pin that first and then I'll serge it. Next, I'm going to make a waistband. I'm going to fold my fabric in half and I'm going to measure down 4 inches. This will be the width of my waistband. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to measure my waist measurement in half and I'm going to cut that out. Now I'm going to take my straps and overlap them together about by about an inch. Then I'm going to pin that to the front of my pants. And I'm going to do a basting stitch. Now it's time to attach the waistband to the pants. I didn't show it on camera, but I did insert a piece of elastic into the waistband before attaching it to the pants. Make sure you use a lot of pins when attaching the waistband to the pants because this is the most difficult part of sewing this jumpsuit. Okay, so now I'm done pinning and I'm just going to take it to my serger and serge all the way around making sure to catch the straps and the pants and the waistband. And we're practically done.
Okay, so that's it you guys. Once you're done with that, and now I have a jumpsuit that I can wear an infinite number of ways. I think this has to be one of my favorite outfits that I have made so far. I will link below a video showing how you can wrap, um, wrap dresses, which you can also apply to this jumpsuit. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just leave them below in the comment section.